Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to look at rain damage to your airplane. And this happens when you fly through a thunderstorm when you're in IFR. You get a lot of rain, it hits the airplane, it shakes it, and it'll chip off any paint that's not securely attached to the aircraft. And as you can see here, it was going to require the airplane to be repainted. So here's your cautionary tale. Flying through the rain can damage your airplane, especially if the rain is very heavy. And in this video, we're going to cover stripping the airplane, prepping all the parts, doing all the repairs, painting everything, and putting it back together. So stay tuned for some fun. So we would like to ask you please subscribe, hit the like button, and hit the notify to stay current with our content. So here's going to be the methodology I'm going to explain as we go through all these stages of stripping and prepping and bondoing and painting and priming and repairs. We're going to talk a little bit about each section and then the pictures are going to be set on a five minute, uh, a sorry, a five second display. So every five seconds you get a new picture and we're going to put some music in the background and then we'll meet you at the next section and we'll start all over and finally we'll see you at the end. So stay tuned for some fun. So the first part of this is we're going to take everything off the airplane, the wingtips off, the fairings off, uh, the cowling off. We're going to take all the pieces off the airplane and then we're going to begin stripping them. And we tried four different strippers. We found one that worked the best and then we stripped the airplane. And underneath the paint, we found primer. Underneath that primer, we found another paint job. So we removed two paint jobs off the airplane. By the way, um, a paint job on an airplane, if you believe it or not, after it cures, because of the surface area, a paint job on an airplane weighs between 23 and 30 pounds. Because when we stripped it all off and put it back on properly, we saved some weight on the airplane. So figure about 25 pounds per paint. Uh, per layer of you know per a paint job on an aircraft uh, especially a small one like this and as you can see here in some places we could just peel it off just nick it with a razor blade and just peel it off in a sheet and we did that before we applied the stripper to save on the cost of the stripper so stay tuned for the stripping and take apart process and we'll be back at the next section for you
So now the painting process begins, and we're going to begin by taking the plastic pieces and getting them all prepped and everything, but then we're going to be shooting them with their base color, and then if there's any um, accent colors to go on there, in this case the black or the red, we will mask them off and shoot them individually before we put the airplane back together. And along with that process, we're going to find some areas where we're going to need to add some Bondo, like where the wing walk was, and then after the paint's been on, then we'll have to apply the wing walk. As you can see here, it's being applied. So stay tuned for this process, the beginning of the painting process of getting the airplane to its final colors. Now along the way in this whole process of getting it down to bare metal and everything and trying to get it back together in the best way possible, you're going to find some places where there are going to be some repairs required. As you saw, Bondo had to be applied some places and some places we had some chafing metals. So we had to put in some doublers or put in some repair patches. But, you know, it was a, quite a process. We started it. Um, this process in April of that year and the airplane did not roll out finished until July So April May June and July so figure three and a half months on this particular airplane But we had a lot to do to it and it was in much better shape after we were done So now stay tuned for the part of the repairs coming in <music>
So finally, as I mentioned in the last section, we started this in the beginning of April of 1994 and the airplane rolled out and was ready to fly off in about middle July. So paint was still soft when we flew off so we stayed away from any rain or anything. But as you can see here, here it is all finally going back together in its final colors. The only thing that we have to correct is the paint shop got the instructions on the propeller wrong. We did not want a white propeller. We wanted a black propeller with red and white tips, not they got it confused. So anyway, enjoy these pictures of the final assembly. Now a couple of things that we did a little different. If you noticed on the back of the airplane where we have that dorsal fin, the dorsal fin is black, the vertical fin is black, but all the horizontal surfaces are white so that you can see black white black white when you're flying in formation you can focus on the tail and you have those distinctive color matches to help you see the difference so ladies and gentlemen we hope you found all this useful and informative here was the traveler as we started in april and as you can see with a lot of stripping on that airplane and then here she is back in the hangar and this is in july right before we're getting ready to fly her to uh, galveston for the uh, 94 convention so we hope you found this useful and informative. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day flying your Grumman.